Before I begin, here's a quick disclaimer. This video is in no way, shape, or form meant to encourage plastic surgery. It is your body, your choice. Um, I'll explain why I decided to in a bit, but it really is a big decision and it's a very personal one too. So before you decide that you want to get any work done, I suggest that you do a lot of research and then come to a decision. Anyways, let's get into it. Okay. It has been nine months too long since I've posted a YouTube video, but I'll get into that in a different post because today, in case you haven't noticed by the title of this video, I got a nose job. I got a rhinoplasty done and if you clicked on this video, it's because you're coming from my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram or any of my social medias, all the links will be down below. Don't forget to go ahead and click the links, follow me, and then come back. And yeah, so if you clicked on this video, you're wondering what my experience was like. Sorry in advance if this video is a little bit lengthy. I am gonna go in depth and try to fill you in my whole nose job journey, right? And yeah, I'm just not gonna ramble on for too long. I'm just gonna get right into it. Question one, where did I get my rhinoplasty done? I wanted to do my rhinoplasty done locally so then I could start the recovery process right away and just go home. Um, I did find Dr. Gersey and he works at the Miami Plastic Surgery Institute in Coral Gables. So if you're a local or you decide you want to fly out, whatever, your choice. Um, yeah, there you go. Question two, why did I get a rhinoplasty done? So I got a rhinoplasty done because I didn't really appreciate the way I looked from the side. Um, I had a bump. I wanted a nicer tip. I wanted a nice curvy bridge, a nice narrow bridge. And whenever I would put on makeup, I didn't like the way um, my nose would look in pictures. And it was, it was just like a lot, I guess. I didn't, I just didn't like the way I looked from the side and it was just, and I, it was just an idea that was consuming me. Question three, what was the experience like? I would say the experience was very fast, very easy, really smooth. So I had been following this IG influencer and she had posted a picture of herself in a cast um, shouting out Dr. Gersey and I was like, oh dang, like, she was explaining the whole process and how easy it was and how amazing Dr. Ursi was. Um, and she just documented her whole experience and I thought I would check out his profile. I'll have a little picture of his profile up on the screen for you. And most of his clients, not even, all of his clients look phenomenal they look so good and i thought you know what let me book a consultation it's free anyways let me get all the information i need have him take a look at my nose and let's see what can be done you know like i had nothing to lose so i just wanted to gain more information on the process and then after i had booked a consultation I went and they took a before photo, which I'll have posted on the screen. And yeah, they take a picture of you. Then Dr. Kersey comes in. He takes a look at your nose, sees what your vision is, whether you want to get a nose job for functional or aesthetic pur purposes. I breathed completely fine. I, um, I mainly just wanted it for aesthetic. So then after he checks out your nose, you go to his office and the reason why they took photos of you, he's gonna Photoshop your face into what would be your after. 
right? Like your after result. I had booked that same day a open nose surgery and an open nose surgery because there's two types there's closed nose which is they um cut open your nose from the bridge and then they either like shave it off there they do the work from there and the one that i did which was open nose they cut up your what is this called your septum and like the sides of your nose they open it up and then they work from there and i'll tell you in order to book my appointment i had to pay a deposit of a thousand dollars and the rest two weeks before my surgery day um a lot of you have asked me if i can finance and you can you can finance your surgery, but I personally decided to pay it in full. Um, but that would be something that you'd have to talk to the patient coordinator um, about. And yeah. So just to clarify something, it might cost you more, it might cost you less. I had to pay $8,000, but it def it varies between people you know because everybody's face everybody's nose is different so after your consultation after booking a surgery day around november ish the patient coordinator emails me asking me when i'm available to show up to her office so we can start planning for the day of surgery um they gave me this booklet with like a list of rules like what medication i should avoid um that i should avoid drinking alcohol smoking that i should get covid tested that i should book a consultation no that i should book an appointment to get blood work done just make sure that i'm good that i'm healthy before the day of surgery um what else um, yeah, that's basically it. That's the gist of it. And then, um, oh, and they also explained to me, like, what to do the night before, the day of, and, yeah. Oh, and then I got, I got prescribed, like, med medication to bring the day of surgery so the doctor can check off, like, the list, making sure that I have everything and uh, I'm well prepared for my recovery process and yeah so the day of comes right the nurse calls me in gives me clothes to change into and they just ask you the same questions over and over again like when's the last time you ate have you drank alcohol have you got your eight hours of sleep and just questions like that and then the nurse hooks you up to an IV bag to make sure that you are hydrated um, for your surgery and make sure that you don't eat the night before and the morning of because that will really mess up your surgery um and yeah then the anesthesiologist comes asks you the same question and then dr Gersey comes checks you out asks you the same question make sure that you're nice comfortable and ready to go and then another nurse comes in and asks you if you're ready and you tell them no hell no just no and we were on our way to the or i was really nervous um because to be honest this was the first time i had ever gotten work done and it was pretty nerve-wracking because i'm like the entire time i was on my way to the or i'm like i'm like what have you done what 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 did you get yourself into please god god be with me because if i get botched i'm gonna kill someone anyways so as soon as i step foot into the or the anesthesiologist giggles right and because you can just see the fear in my eyes i was wearing my mask but you could see the fear in my eyes you can feel my aura was just like spooked like freaking out i i like i i, I didn't know what to do 
um, then the nurse just helps me get onto the OR bed, right? When I did my research, I would ask people about their experience with anesthesia. Falling asleep and waking back up, that was my main fear throughout this whole process. And they would tell me, oh, you know, they'll count one, two, three, and then you'll wake up. Oh, you're just gonna talk to the nurses and then you'll just swiftly fall asleep and then wake back up. I knocked out. I knocked out. All right, cold. Like, I couldn't believe how quick, how quick that felt. I woke up in two seconds. In two seconds. It felt like nothing. Nothing, like no time had gone by. Like a millisecond. I don't know how else to explain myself. Like it was so quick. Then I'm in a different room and I'm waking up. And the nurse notices that I'm waking up. Gives me like five minutes. I'm just sitting there. I didn't want to force my body to wake up. I just wanted to let it flow, let it happen. Because I didn't know how I was going to react to the anesthesia. So I was just like chilling, right? The nurses gave me some time and then eventually I was ready to um, change into my clothes and um, I was just wheeled out of there. And then I met my mom, she took me home and I had to build like a little fortress of pillows, right? They recommend like to build a fortress to keep yourself elevated at all times. Um, or sit on like a reclining chair, but I didn't have one. So, um, yeah, I had a fortress of pillows on my bed and I had to sleep the whole time with a neck pillow because uh, you're not allowed to sleep on your sides for a long time. Um, and yeah, that was my experience. What was the hardest part about recovery? I would say the hardest part about recovery was trusting the process because after they get your cast removed you look like an avatar damn they really do not lie to you when they say you get an avatar looking ass face after you remove your cast but it's temporary so ignore that but anyways I'm so 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 happy with my results like here's a side view right I just got home but I couldn't not film like a reaction video like it looks so cute it looks really really nice um my nose is still stuffy but oh what can you do um i do have to continue like using my nas nasal spray i just can't um oh my god it looks so good look at the bridge look how look how straight and look how cute the curve is and the tip of my nose I can't get over it. I'm so, so happy. Tee -hee. Your eyes look small. Your cheeks are puffy. You're all bruised up. And yeah, yeah. I'm only three weeks in and I look decent. I look decent, but I know a year from now it's gonna look so much better. I'm just in love with the shape and yeah. Another thing is sleeping elevated. I love curling up in a ball and sleeping on my sides and I like sleeping on my stomach. So the first couple of nights when I had to sleep elevated and on my back, it was so uncomfortable. My back would start hurting and it was just a mess. Also sleeping with a gauze. A gauze is like the tape that they put on. So when you get your nose done, you have like these two rods up your nose and a gauze tape to it um and i would say the hardest part was sleeping because i wasn't able to breathe through my nose and i had to constantly you know 
drink water, apply chapstick nonstop because my throat would get so dry from constantly breathing out of my mouth. And one thing that does help is always have chapstick with you. Um, have some tea, lots of tea, have lots of water with you. Um, I would also accidentally close my mouth while I'd be sleeping and I'd stop breathing and that was scary, right? I had to like bite into like a pencil like this. It's a bite into a pencil while I was sleeping or I would have a straw in between my teeth so I would prevent from closing my mouth while I was asleep. So I'd be I'd be chilling and watching a movie, right? And then I would doze off. I'd still have my mouth open, but in the middle of the night, I would just shut it. I just shut my nose. And it was so bad. So so scary. Anyways, um but after a while, like you get used to like sleeping and breathing with your mouth open and you'll be fine. I was fine, so I was good, but that was pretty scary. Eating and breathing through my mouth at the same time, that was hard. That was annoying. That was inconvenient. <clears throat> Refraining from making facial expressions. You know, I talk with my face, so I would constantly scrunch my nose, flare my nostrils before I got my nose done and after it, would, it just feels weird. Like it doesn't hurt to make facial expressions but it does feel weird to like scrunch or flare my nostrils. I tend, I try not to but still. Sneezing, coughing, and yawning, yeah. So you do want to refrain from flaring your nostrils and scrunching your nose and blowing, blowing from your nose. Like that you cannot do for some time. So sneezing, <coughs> yawning, and coughing was annoying. How painful was getting a nose job? On a scale of one to 10, non-existent. I kept track of all my meds and made sure I did everything that the doctor told me. To my surprise, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel anything and it's not me putting up front, um, trying to put a tough act. I didn't feel anything, like straight up nothing. How long does the healing process take? For those of you who don't know, the healing process for a nose job is one year. Based off of my research, I have read that if you have thinner skin, it does heal faster than when you have thicker skin. Sometimes having like thicker skin um, causes you causes the healing process to be prolonged to like last longer. But honestly, it really all depends on you. It varies from person to person. So I can't really say like, oh, it's one year guarantee. Like it depends on how you take care of your nose during the recovery process. It depends on the type of skin you have. It depends, you know, everybody's different. So there's really no set answer, but usually it's one year. What helps to decrease swelling? So for one, drinking lots of water helps I take Arnica. It's this pill that you place under your tongue and it's supposed to help with swelling, discoloration, um, pain relief. I, I didn't, I didn't really bruise up. I actually, around the third to fourth day, that was my worst day. I did swell up like a balloon, but bruising wasn't that bad but my face looked like a beach ball i look like a golden retriever just ate a bumblebee i look like i just had a peanut allergy like it was bad it was bad but um 
I was in no pain whatsoever. Are you 100% happy with your results? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm so happy with the way I look. Look at my side profile. I'm so much more confident now. I think I look so much cuter. Uh, ever since I got my nose done, I can't stop looking at myself. I can't stop staring at every mirror at my own reflection like wow like narcissist syndrome up the a dr yersi did a great job i'm so happy i'm so happy with the way it looked like like look at the slope when I spoke to Dr. Yersi the day of my surgery, I told him, I'm like, I want a nice cute slope. I want my tip to be lifted and I want the tip to be smaller. Just make me look cute. And he did just that, just as requested. I'm so, so happy, so happy. Was there anything you would have done differently? No, I'm... I'm a happy camper. I'm very happy with my results. I wouldn't change a thing. It was so, like, I loved it. How did your skin react to your new nose? I wanted to mention my skin after I had the surgery because since I wasn't able to wash my face because you're not allowed to wet the cast, my skin like my pores would get really clogged because my skin would get so oily um after i got the cast off i would wash my face like normal um, i was dying to go back to my skincare routine but i did notice that my pores were really open um my skin was still oily and on the tip of my nose i started noticing that my skin was like really flaky very flaky but honestly you just have to have patience um because that's just your skin's way of saying like whoa what's happening here you know it's just reacting to the whole process it's healing and you just gotta give it time so that's exactly what i'm doing i'm drinking lots of water just making sure i'm taking care of I like to ice my skin too to like um, reduce the swelling but there's nothing I can do besides wait the year and just yeah I'm sorry don't be and last final question why did you choose Dr. Gersey? getting work done is a really big decision it's a big personal decision and i'm so happy that i chose dr gersey because he really exceeded my expectations um i would scroll through his instagram and what made me so confident and comfortable in choosing him to be my doctor is because he would always post his schedule his daily schedule and it would always be rhino, 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 rhino. And the fact that he would post that, it just made me comfortable because I'm choosing a doctor that has plenty of experience. And you can even search him up on Google. Like, that's what he's mostly known for. He does everything. He does lipo. He does breast augmentations. He does it all, but he specifically specializes in rhinoplasties so i was like you know what i'm gonna book my consultation speak to the magician himself and let's see what's up and hello like look at me look at me like my nose is still swollen it's only been three weeks post-op and it looks so good it looks so cute like my family my friends like they were stunned i'm so happy i'm so happy so so happy um, and yeah. Mm, what else? So yeah, I'm just gonna post like some after photos. 
um just talking about it and like looking at myself i'm just so happy that i came to this decision and i didn't chicken out that concludes the end of this video if you guys have any questions concerns you can always just comment them down below or follow me on instagram message me and you know i love talking to you guys don't forget to like this video subscribe click the bell button so you can be notified every time i post a new video and don't forget to follow me on social medias and uh yeah that's the end of this rhinoplasty q a i will post um more videos related to my nose job like if you guys have more questions for me i will update you guys and yeah later